Hello and welcome back to Weekly Buying Tips. I'm Dean Berman from Berman Buys. Today we're going to talk about what is an off-market property. I often hear buyers wanting off-market properties. These are properties that aren't listed on the traditional real estate portals such as realestate.com.au and domain.com.au. In other words, these are properties that are silently listed or unlisted. Oftentimes in a real estate sales agent's arsenal, uh, they may have that in case a buyer wants a specific requirement they can help them. And sometimes I'll actually get sellers call me and say, hey, we have a property we'd like to sell. Uh, if you have any buyers, we're ready to do something. And that's another way that it can often happen um, from a buyer's agent's perspective. I think for buyers, off-market property is an attractive option. Um, however, they don't always come at the cheapest price. In some cases, they will. Uh, where the sellers have to transact in the quickest possible time. Some sellers don't like big groups of people walking through in a large open house for 45 minutes on a, on a weekend or a Wednesday. And some sellers like very small petite groups walking through their properties with n minimal numbers, you know, very well screened by a pool. And, you know, some sellers' personal circumstances just require that this is kept uh, quite discreet and the process is uh, is, is fairly... Uh, unknown to the rest of the general market besides those few buyers that are looking. And sometimes off-market property can attract a premium price. Uh, these are times often when the property is freshest, it's pre-market, it's before it's been listed, and this is oftentimes when the seller has the highest expectation of what they'll achieve for their property. And it might be a very different story for sellers, say two months into a campaign, where buyer feedback is much lower than they expected in which case their expectations have been changed and they're not going to expect such a premium as they may have when they put the property uh, off market or pre-market at the very start of the campaign. There are both pros and cons for buying off market property. Pros being potentially less competition as not as much of the market can see the property and also in some instances you can actually get the property for a good price. There are cons however relating to price where the sellers expectations are at the highest and therefore they expect a premium price whereas a few months in as we've talked about before they might actually come down in price um, to a lower level where maybe the buying market might actually be at. At the end of the day more buying options is not a bad thing which is really what off-market property or buying off-market property is all about.